Hello students, here we are going to learn about optical network routing principles. So start with the first routing is the process of selecting a path for traffic in a network or between or across a multiple network. So because uh, routing uh, process define the route uh, discovery or uh, route finding process between uh, two different or multiple networks are then. So the broadly routing is performed in many types of network including the circuit switch uh, like a public switch in telephone network like a PON network also. So in circuit switch network the connection is need to be established uh, at the beginning and remain static till the end of the convergence. So one static path or uh, dedicated or predefined path is there. So in the case of packets which uh, the each uh, packet or chunk of information means uh, in case of the uh, many times uh, more number of data with the variable bit rate uh, like a burst data. So get routed separately so the decision which way to take needs to be performed uh, way more often. So the decision is uh, often hap happen on special hardware is called router. So they provide this kind of features. So the routers uh, build a, a topology map uh, for the different network uh, where uh, its router considers to be a, a node for that particular network. So optical router provide many features. Uh, it makes uh, uh, this thing from the other of its kind. So the basic purpose for a router to deliver intended packet to a particular destination from source to destination discovery. So the particular provide or uh, the particular the device is compared to the electronics is much more co uh, competitive than the ordinary router or in case of the electronics the router clear. So the optical router have multiple input and output ports are available. So it is equipped with the number of transmission also. So that there is a uh, polarization control which is in installed between the uh, plurality of the transmitter and the, its input port. Uh, it is also embedded with the clock uh, which helps uh, transmit its signal to the particular uh, port and this particular packet has a two address. Uh, you all are know about that the source address and the destination address. So here the uh, functionality of the uh, routing for the capable of the packets so the sum of information regarding the destinations addresses the uh, neighboring router which allows it to run about the remote network then how to find out the particular destination in the multiple uh, networking medium uh, it is possible to route to the remote network possible for the uh, uh, perfect path finding for the particular data transmissions the base route to each remote network provided by the various of algorithms uh, uh, provided with them. So how to maintain and verify the routing information because certain times in between the data session some node uh, failure or some network is in a path is not possible. So at that time the uh, maintain the information or update the information in the some time of interval. And the actual process of setting up routers and uh, as well as the uh, base route uh, for there as well as wavelength assignment in the optical network uh, is done by using a electronic backbone control uh, network also. So in the optical network uh, node uh, so consider as a routing node. So uh, specialty is the node is that uh, converts the uh, upcoming message from the various sources. So they have connected uh, coming from various sources to so they with uh, control the wavelength into an electrical domain and the message coming with the other wavelength then this uh, pass to them in the next hop. What is the next hop? Suppose multiple intermediate nodes are connected between them. So we have to send message from directly source to destination, but through the, this kind of intermediate. So how many hop uh, will count the particular data to pass the actual uh, actual the destinations? Clear. So then pass to their next hop uh, without uh, converting them into the electric domain. 
so it is a uh, based on the large optical switch which takes a channel and uh, switches it to an any other form or any uh, fiber or sometimes they uh, provide uh, some multiplex mechanism and convert in the appropriate wavelength by uh, wavelength converter also so it is also provided that the sum of functionality for a uh, source uh, or sum of functionality the routing node interbetween or intermediate node between the source and destination last for the destination so source will send all this packet to the particular node and lambda c means the wavelength uh, also wait for the reply of uh, a particular routing node uh, after having the reply send the message with the selected wavelength uh, wait for the ack means acknowledgement particular the destination so now uh, the sum of the functionality of routing node uh, wait for uh, wait for the data messages request from the sources uh, if it is with the particular lambda lambda is the particular wavelength so then convert into the electric domain put in the buffer or queue requirement any kind of other uh, necessary uh, requirement for the uh, data processing uh, the incoming uh, link of the receiver is proper to reach that particular node or assign a uh, wavelength to the routing link also and the destination is to store the data uh, in the delivery of the buffer when the all the uh, chunk of the packet is not received and send the particular sek to the source through this intermediate node so this kind of basic principle are required for the uh, routing process in this optical network